Welcome back guys to a new Cyberpunk video. Phantom Liberty has finally been announced and it will arrive on September 26th this year. And it will actually change so much in the gear system and all the skill trees that I have to release all my videos I was preparing for the next update. So if you are currently planning to replay this game before Phantom Liberty drops, I will give you the absolute best early game build you can make the current system. This build will be so powerful that you can even kill Cyber Psychos with a single quick hack at level 50. Level 15 is the earliest level where you can max out your intelligence and that will break the game in very fundamental ways. That includes getting Bartmore's legacy to unlock every legendary quick hack as early as possible to absolutely abuse the short circuit damage boost. The legendary short circuit quick hack is so special because it will apply its damage to your weapon. When you switch to individual damage numbers in your menu you will actually realize that the short circuit damage bonus is so much more powerful than the actual weapon damage. It exceeds way over 90% for almost every weapon and it never drops below 70% even with the best and most powerful setup. For some weapons you will actually get even 98% damage from the short circuit. And that means when we unlock and play with the legendary short circuit bonus we will also turn this low level netrunner build into the absolute best gunfighter build that is possible to make early on. Even if you don't even want it this build will just melt everyone even with your guns by just applying the short circuit to it. Even though that might sound as the ultimate power build on paper, it has some setbacks because this only works when you make a critical hit with your weapon. So you have to increase your crit chance with the absolute highest priority to make this work. With this build we will reach up to 40% crit chance which will make sure that your enemies won't survive more than 3 or 4 hits. And since your crit chance will be also applied to your quick hacks, this is a win-win situation. In order to get the legendary short circuit and legendary quick hacks in general you have to visit Betty's Hotel in Pacifica because there is the only early accessible netrunner shop that also sells legendary quick hack components. Make sure you buy enough components to craft all the legendary quick hacks you need. You can of course go outside, wait for 24 hours and refill the stock as well. After that you have to visit Kabuki Market. There's also a netrunner shop which sells some of the best quick hacks in the game. First and foremost, short circuit, overheat and suicide. These three are really incredible and you can get them very early. If you own an epic copy of these quick hacks and you have the crafting spec from Bartmoss Legacy, you can actually craft them in your crafting menu. For this build we'll be using short circuit, suicide, overheat and detonate grenade. All these quick hacks are out of combat quick hacks, which is really important because you will deal way more damage with your quick hacks when you stay out of combat than when you enter your combat. For the operating system I picked the Stevenson Tech Mark II because that gives you a 30% additional cooldown reduction so you can just spam short circuit on every enemy you see. This operating system can be purchased from the Ripper Dog in Kabuki market. And for the crit chance I recommend you to visit this weapon shop in the southern badlands. This guy has a really high chance of selling penetrator mods and he is also selling the uncommon silencer that gives you 10% additional crit chance for your weapon. Which is really needed and is a great synergy effect of staying stealthy and applying a high crit chance short circuit damage boost. We will need plenty of these mods to make our build and this guy is also selling the rare and epic versions once you level up further. You also have to go to Victor to buy the epic Kiroshi mods. You have to equip these Kiroshi mods with 3 weak spot detection that gives you an additional 6% crit chance. He is also selling these mods in his shop and if you are here anyway you can also immediately grab the double jump tendons. So where do we get all this money to get all this stuff so early? The answer is really simple because there is a money glitch still working in patch 1.6. The stats are still the same and there are two very good videos on the channel actually explaining this. All you have to do is hold the sell button, adjust the amount to be minus one than you actually own, then press the confirm button while holding the sell button and that will immediately open the menu again so you can sell your items again. And then simply buy back your items from the dropbox. Every time you do that you will double up your items for free until they are worth 20,000 money. Then you can simply sell the whole stack, keep a few hundred, skip time and then simply double up your items again until you can sell them again to the dropbox. This is not only good to create infinite amounts of money but also infinite amounts of crafting material, healing items or everything you want. The better explanation video on this channel also includes a version that shows you how to get millions in no time doing this trick. 
Okay, let's finally check out the build, guys. I've created a really new nice character here, which already has a 17% crit chance base stat and an 83% crit damage base stat. And these stats are always added together with the ones on your weapon. The weapon here has an additional 22% crit chance, so we are already sitting at 39% crit chance at level 15. That was the highest I could push it with this setup so early. For the weapon itself, I used the legendary Lexington, which you get from beating shoot to thrill. I didn't use the Dying Knight, because the Dying Knight has no mod slot, but this weapon has a lot of them. I equipped with a Kanaksugo Optics and XC Strix Silencer. This silencer is actually the best in the game, it gives you a flat 10% crit chance bonus. And then I simply added 3 penetrator mods. When we compare that to the Dying Knight, there is simply no option to add additional penetrator mods. However, the Dying Knight has the crazy headshot bonus, but with short circuit we will get much more damage, so the legendary Lexington was the way to go here. The second weapon which I mostly use for this build is the Fenrir. The Fenrir is an easy obtainable iconic SMG, you can find it when you beat the monk's quest at the docks at Northside. This weapon has only 14% crit chance, but if we add that together with your character stats, we are still sitting at over 31%. And since this weapon is shooting much faster, you will also have a much greater chance to apply short circuit. It is basically a smaller version of the problem solver, which is the fastest shooting weapon which you get later in the game. I equip this weapon with a handyman scope, also an XC streak silencer for the flat 10% crit chance boost and then I also added one penetrator mod, because for a rare weapon you could only add one mod. For the third weapon I actually looked long for, because the scalpel was not possible to use because we couldn't use Thunder Vistan, Lizzie was also no option because you cannot equip a silencer on it, so I actually went for the Kongu. The Kongu can be found in your Renobo's apartment during the Heast mission and it can also be equipped with Kanotsugu Optics and XC Strix Silencer and at least one Penetrator mod. To get all the necessary weapon mods you should visit the weapons dealer in Southern Badlands because he has the highest chance of selling Penetrator and XC Strix Silencer mods. You can also find higher rarity ones once you level up your character further in the game. Since we don't invest any skill points into tech, this is the only way to get these mods. Unfortunately you are not having access to many good headgear early in the game, because most of the sets don't have one, so I simply purchased one at one of the clothing dealers and added an armadillo mod. For the jacket you can use the legendary corporate blazer and I added two street cred mods, because we are still leveling up, so adding more street cred to your character really helps you out a lot. You can find this jacket in this location at Northside. For the t-shirt I used the legendary galaxy t-shirt, you can find this one in your stash as soon as you arrive in your apartment. To get this one to legendary, you just have to get it at level 1 and then upgrade it at least 12 times, which is totally possible since we are level 15 already. For the eyewear you can use the legendary badge goggles, which can also be found in Northside, and here I equipped a legendary Fortuna mod, that gives me an additional 4% crit chance. The location for these goggles are actually very close to your apartment in Northside, just go to this location and you will find the body lying around here in the backyard of one of those buildings. It's really easy to find, just use the map and you will get it. Then if you are lucky enough you can equip a Fortuna mod into it, however be careful, because you cannot remove it other than by dismantling the legendary item which is also unique. There is rumor to be a fixed drop for Fortuna mod in the afterlife if you start a new game in patch 1.6 and 1.6.1. I found mine here as well, but I cannot confirm if it is always here. For the pants I used the media cargo pants which had an anti-venom mod already inside it, so I was happy to use it, but you can also use the legendary corporate pants which you can find in this location at Northside. Last but not least on the boots I put again an armadillo mod. In order to get the street cred mods and armadillo mods you actually have to find one of those crafting specs. These are randomly distributed in white loot boxes so you just have to loot a lot of them until you find them. Now let's check out the cyberware I used for this build. In the frontal cortex of course I went for the memory boost. The memory boost gives you back 3 RAM modules every time you kill an enemy, which is almost instantly when you use short circuit or suicide, and together with the forget me not perk you will actually max this 4 RAM slots in total. So you will basically have infinite RAM when using this. Then of course we go for 4% additional crit chance from the limbic system and 30% additional critical damage from the visual cortex. In our epic Hiroshi which we get from Victor we will put 3 weak spot detection, which will give us an additional 6% crit chance. Normally we would use trajectory analysis to boost our headshot damage, but in a Netrunner build, where all the damage is actually coming from our short circuit damage boost, it is much more important to use crit chance instead of headshot damage. And please spare the word from posting that these mods don't stack, because they do, and they do that for almost over a year. 
In the nervous system you can go for the synaptic accelerator which slows down time every time you are detected by enemies and also for Kerensikov, but the lower end Kerensikov lasts not so long so it is not really useful anyway. Subdermal armor of course is mandatory as well as the optical camo to make you stealthy and sneaky and deal more damage because as long as you're out of combat you will deal the double amount of damage for your quick hacks. For the operating system I went for the Stevenson Tech Mark II, as already explained this gives you an additional 30% cooldown reduction. This brings down the cooldown for short circuit to last no longer than one second, which means you can spam this on every enemy you see and instantly kill everyone with just spamming short circuit. The legendary quick hacks first and foremost used here are short circuit because short circuit will always apply the short circuit damage when you make a critical hit even with your weapon. Then of course I also used suicide which will one shot even Cyber Psychos, Overheat and Detonate Grenade just for fun. How to get all these legendary quick hacks and to get all the components was shown at the beginning of this video. For the remaining cyberware I used the bionic joints because the bionic joints reduce the recoil of all your weapons. Since I don't go high on reflex this really helps improving those weapons. Then of course we grab the 20% health boost from the skeleton. You can go for the ballistic core processor in your hands but it is not really needed. But using the gorilla arms on any level is really helpful because it will boost your body skill by 2, 4 or even 6 levels if you get the legendary version. And of course don't forget the tendons for your double jump. I know you guys are really waiting for the skills and here they are. We have 20 intelligence, 6 on cool, 3 tech, 4 reflex, 3 in body. In order to achieve these stats on level 15 you have to start your character with 6 points into intelligence, 6 points into cool and 4 points into reflex. And by leveling up 14 times up to level 15 we can put an additional 14 points into intelligence to reach level 20. If you are going for intelligence anyway it actually can't hurt to get the extended network interface to highlight all the access terminals and also the advanced data mine to increase your money income from those quick hacks. In the quick hacking menu of course we go for bloodware for the 30% increased damage, biosynergy for increased RAM refill, signal support for the increased duration and of course critical error which enables us to make critical hits even with our quick hacks. But even more important are the ones at the bottom, for example supplemental message which doubles all your quick hack damage as long as you're out of combat. So by using silencers and the camouflage mod it not only gives you more crit chance to apply the critical hit damage it also just simply doubles your damage as long as you're out of combat. Forget me not will give you back one additional RAM slot so if you use that together with memory boost you will always get back four RAM slots whenever you kill someone with a quick hack. And then of course daisy chain will reduce your quick hack cooldown so dramatically that you can spam short circuit just one after another. You can optionally go for mnemonic to further reduce the cost of all your quick hacks by two RAM models. However this is only really needed if you want to use breach protocol or ping before you attack your enemies. I usually don't use them so it is up to you if you want to go for it. Much easier to use of course is the optimization perk which just reduces one RAM model on all your quick hacks and of course the Bartmos legacy is needed to even unlock and craft all your legendary quick hacks. You will only get the most important stuff from the other skill trees. Under cool you should go for silent and deadly to get all the damage back when using a silencer. In the cold blood tree at the moment you only have to go for the main cold blood perk because that will enable you to gain cold blood XP which is needed if you want to grow this build into a full merciless build. Once you have reached cool level 20 you should go for Kula Goland which removes any cold blood stack one by one. Go for cold and calculating for getting cold blood stacks for every critical hit. Then of course critical condition which prolongs the cold blood stacks and also go for coldest blood to add more stacks of cold blood. All this will enable you to use cold blood as long as possible and when you drop then additional 60 points into merciless you will get 100% crit chance every time. The other skill trees are very scarcely populated, there is simply nothing under engineering and crafting and in reflex there is only one perk you should really get for handguns which increases your crit chance and under body we only use the health regeneration perk. When you further level up with this build you should definitely go for a cool 20 and then it's basically up to you where you use the rest of your points. You can pot them under reflex or under tech if you want to. I hope you really enjoyed this video, this is definitely the best early game build by far. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.